back with ASEAN Challenge here. We head over to an ASEAN interview for some highlights ahead. That's right. กลับเข้าสู่รายการ ASEAN Challenge ค่ะในช่วงนี้ ASEAN Interview เราไปชมกันค่ะ The Malaysian squads are still looking forward to playing against North Korea soon. Despite the 2019 Asian Cup qualifier against the scheduled nation being postponed amid a diplomatic spat, the Malaysian national soccer team trained on Monday, March 13th, and expressed their disappointment after their Asian Cup qualifier against North Korea was postponed by the Asian Football Confederation or AFC, following a diplomatic spat between the two nations. The two nations were due to open the final phase of qualifying for the 2019 Asian Cup Finals with a Group B encounter at Pyongyang's Kim Tu Sung Stadium. But the game was delayed after the Football Association of Malaysia, or FAM, made a request to the AFC not to play the March 28 fixture in Pyongyang, under pressure from its government following the recent breakdown in relations between the two countries. At the Malaysian squad headquarters in Kalina Jaya, on the outskirts of the capital of Kuala Lumpur, the team were preparing for an international friendly match against the Philippines on March 22nd. Uh, unfortunately, you'd like to think it wouldn't affect a sporting event. Um, but look, at the end of the day, the, the, the team's players and officials, safety is paramount. So uh, we have to respect the decision to defer the match. And I'm sure AFC will make the right decision on to play that match uh, when and where. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're certainly looking forward to it. It would have been an experience. Um, I don't think it affects the players uh, detrimentally. It's just a, a thing that's happened. As I say, it happens in professional sport from time to time, and uh, it's just something that we have to respect the decision makers about. So the game will be played at a later date, and we'll prepare for it accordingly then. <laughs> The countries have become embroiled in a growing row after Malaysia accused North Korea of assassinating Kim Jong-nam, the estranged half-brother of Pyongyang ruler Kim Jong-un, at Kuala Lumpur International Airport on February 13. A new date for Malaysia versus North Korea's game will be announced in due course, the AFC said. The Malaysia players were disappointed not to be playing the game, but understood the actions undertaken by the AFC. Yeah, um, as a sportsman, uh, of course we are uh, disappointed because uh, we want a good match. Uh, it's an international match, but uh, in uh, other side of uh, sports, is uh, between country uh, have uh, some problem between, uh, between uh, below us and uh, North Korea. So. I think it's better for postpone for the right now, so uh, AFC will decide, so the, the game will, will continue after the decision from AFC. We hope uh, we can play with North Korea because it's difficult to play with uh, World Cup. Uh, World Cup team in this Asia and then uh, I hope uh, for the next game we hope uh, we can do something uh, for the game. Hong Kong and Lebanon will also play in North Korea during qualifying for the 2019 Asian Cup, the continent's equivalent of the European Championships. Hong Kong FA Chief Executive Mark Sutcliffe Last week called for the Malaysian match in North Korea to be postponed, adding that the tie could be played in Pyongyang at a later date when relations between the countries had improved. And that was ASEAN Interview for this session of ASEAN Challenge. Thanks for tuning in this week. For that, we wrap up the show. We'll see you again soon next week. For now, สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ